Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some great DIY gift ideas and um, let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project, I'm using these wood rounds that I have uh, from Arteza, but you can use any that you have. Now these have a hole. So as you can see over here, I already filled out one by using the skewer putting it in a hole, cutting out, measuring and cutting out, and then just using a hot glue to secure it. You can use um, wood glue or anything else that you would like. After all of them are in and dry, I use the sanding block from the Dollar Tree and sanded it a little bit. So now that that part is done, I'm going to go ahead and get a black, brown, orange, and a gray paint, and I mixed it up to get this kind of a burnt, burnt amber color and then i'm going to use these um, stencils from the dollar tree first of all i'm going to take uh, this one that uh, says be kind and i'm using a sponge brush just to dab it now towards the end um, i had a little bit of bleeding and you will see um, over here but it's not a big deal you know i wanted to send it out a little bit to make it more rustic anyway and it's not going to be as visible the next one, I'm going to take these uh, rub-on stickers from the Dollar Tree and I already cut out uh, two pieces of vine and a uh, letter K because that is the um, first letter of our last name. But uh, if you're, you can put any um, letter, of course, that you want for the person that you are making or for the family that you are making for. And I just rub them and peel off the backing and that's it. For the next one, I'm using this pattern stencil from the Dollar Tree and again, very, very little paint on my um, uh, foam or actually sponge and I'm just drying it a little bit and peeling off and this is how it turned out. So now that all four are, are done, I'm going to um, give a one good coat of Mod Podge to make sure to protect it and seal it because these are going to be a coasters. So now I'm putting all four together using a jute twine, wrapping it around and uh, tying a bow on the top and this is going to be it for this gift idea. Everybody needs coasters and there's so many ways, ways to make coasters. Um, I already made uh, several different kinds but I think these are so so cute, very rustic because of the wood and um, I think they're just so, so easy to make and I really, really hope you like them and I want to hear what you guys think about this one. So this video is part of this amazing uh, collaboration with these great ladies. Um, we got together and we decided to create some gift ideas for upcoming Christmas season or just in general gift ideas that you can uh, share all year long. The friends that are playing along are um, Jamie over at Simpler Roots Simply Living. Then um, here is Sandra over at DIYs at the Showman's Nest. And then um, we have Lori over at Lori Bly DIY. I love all of these ladies, super, super talented and creative, and I'm sure they're gonna share some great ideas. So I'm gonna have a link to the next um, friend in this collaboration in my description box. So go ahead and check it out after watching my video. Okay, DIY number two. So for this project, I have this uh, leftover of a fold letter. So uh, mine is measuring five and a half inches in width, and then I decided to do four and a half inches in um, length. So I am cutting this out, and then after cutting it out, I am measuring half an inch um, width, and I'm pulling the lines, but not all the way, as you can see over here, and I'm gonna cut them out. Now you can uh, make them um, smaller if you want but I decided half an inch is just fine so this is what I was left with and then I cut out one more strip also half an inch now I'm going to use either um, 
you can use either a fabric hot glue or just this liquid stitch i decided to use my fabric hot glue and i am uh, by sherbonder and i am going to first make a little loop out of this one piece and then i am going to add a little bit of hot glue at the beginning on the top that's not cut out and started rolling this up halfway and then i'm adding this loop right in the middle and then i'm continuing to roll adding a hot glue just where it's needed to keep it secured and then after this part was done everything is nice and secured i am going to go ahead and take one uh, ring and put it on the top and as you can see this is going to be a keychain how easy and simple is that is this but so so elegant i absolutely love this one i'm going to make another one for myself now also this can be put on a purse as well as a decoration i think it's so adorable but i want to hear what do you guys think about this one On to the DIY number three. I have two pieces of felt, a gray and this turquoise color. You can use felt, you can use a letter, uh, anything that you have. So now I'm taking this light gray one and I will measure out um, seven inches square and I'm gonna cut it out. After cutting this out, I also cut out the turquoise four inches, in, um, four inches square. So now I was left with um, two squares as you can see so now I am going to use the same type of glue and position the blue one right in the middle of the gray one I'm going to mark it to know where I uh, need to glue and then I'm using uh, this uh, fabric hot glue and I'm attaching this blue one right in the middle like I said okay after that I'm using the um, fingers just to fold this gray one towards the middle and then I'm using sanding block because I needed some corners and as you can see over here I'm attached uh, or actually pinching the corners together using a hot glue and I'm going to do that for all four corners after all that was done I was uh, left with uh, this and now I'm going to take these push pins first I'm going to take one push it through one end and then I'm going to take the pliers and I will uh, fold it that's the uh, first uh, way that I did, but after that I decided to just cut it out, cut out the uh, pointy end. And then I'm taking another one, cut out the pointy end, and I'm using a hot glue to attach it to the other side. Just to make it nice and seamless so there is push pins on both sides. And I'm going to do that to all of them. So now at this point, this is how it looks like. You can leave the pointy ends if you want, but I decided to cut them out. So I just snip them out. I thought it would look nicer so after that this project is complete so this is just uh, a little you know catch-all tray you can use it for jewelry or actually they can use it for jewelry or a keychain um, like I'm going to show you over here in just a minute it's just super cute and convenient gift idea for anyone and like I said you can use any material that you have on hand any sturdy material Again, what do you think about this one? For all of you that are new, if you're coming from this collaboration, welcome. I'm Yelena. Love, love crafting and doing DIY projects on a budget and mostly rustic and farmhouse style, but I do some modern style as well. And if you're on the social media, I would love for you to join me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Also, I want to remind you that my regular upload times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If there is any changes, I usually try to let you know in advance. Now, with all that said, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube. It means so much to me. And also subscribe with the notification bell. I would love to have you. Okay, DIY number four, super simple one. So I have this cork um, um, from the wine. Uh, you can order these uh, from Amazon. I know that for sure. And I have uh, this um, knob, doorknob decorative doorknob I got at Hobby Lobby or actually came from Hobby Lobby but I got it at a yard sale for 50 cents I am uh, poking uh, with the skewer um, a hole in right in the middle and then I'm just screwing this on top so this is going to be it this is super simple but such a great way to gift a decorative um, 
bottle stopper and I think it's fabulous idea it couldn't be simpler to make but it's so cute you can also use um, you know a wooden block or a bead to put on top you can hot glue it but I thought the uh, doorknob is such a great idea because it already has a screw in it and uh, again I want to hear what you guys think about this one I would like to uh, for you to tell me which one was your favorite number one two three or four would you recreate any of these and don't forget to check out my description box for the next uh, friend playing along so you can see what uh, she created thank you so much for being here i'll see you in my next video bye guys